Hello guys, what's up? Welcome to the new tutorial from the SketchUp Arc Studio. Today I'm going to show you how you can create very realistic renders about the interior jobs in the Enscape. Very simple and easy. We have some bedroom in here with these assets you can see in here. And my HDRI is the uh, simple HDRI related to the uh, Enscape white ground HDRI. So I'm going to press a space on my keyboard to walk around my environment. And first option for the rendering is that you must to save your main camera shot. For this reason, I'm going to press F on my keyboard. I'm going to click on the create view option in here. And I'm going to orbit a little bit something like that, for example. And I think it's good right now. So I'm going to turn on the save frame. I'm going to click on the visual setting, I'm going to click on the output and change my resolution from Full HD to the Ultra HD. So, after this job, I'm going to click on the main bar in here and I'm going to close it. I'm going to go a little bit to the downside, something like that. Some type of render like this can be really good. Or you can change your camera shot, for example, in here. I prefer to use this distance for my camera shot and I want to use the uh, two point perspective. So from here, I change my perspective to the uh, two point perspective. I'm going to rename my job called camera four and add it to my favorite shots. I want to unlink my visual preset and about the XYZ, I want to change them very fast and quick to some numbers related to the heights and the coordinates of your gizmo in the uh, SketchUp environment. So I turn all of them very fast and easy like that. The pitch is the uh, 3. I can increase it to the uh, 6 for example. And I want to see more of the uh, roof in my render. And the yaw is about 325. I can change it to the uh, 326 and press enter. You can see that camera come to the left side and if I decrease it to the 325 I can see that camera go to the right side. Completely depends on you and I want to uh, use the uh, artificial light brightness. If you don't want to use artificial light brightness you can hold shift and right click and change the time of the day very simple and easy near to the morning or the afternoon to have this sunlight in here. I prefer to have the sunlight in my environment. So, some type of altitude about 19 degrees really good and I press enter and I click on the uh, create option. Alright, when I click on the camera number 4, all the light setting will be changed to the camera number 4. So, I'm going to click on the asset library in here, but it's not working right now because I'm not connected to the network. So, very simple and easy, I come and delete or hide this character in here. Alright. Now we have better screen in this place because sometimes people or personage can be destroy your render. So I'm going to minimize this screen in here and in this place I have some jobs with the uh, lighting and materials. I have some hidden lights like the IES profiles and some hidden light lines in here on the 3D model. So I'm going to click on the material editor in here and I'm going to start my job with the uh, halogen light roof. So I'm going to convert it from generic to the self-illuminate and you can see the changes right now. And another light we have is the circle light but self-illuminate is turned on at the previous things. So we have some option that called hide wall light. So when I click on it, look at this tabloid in here. When I change it from generic to the self-illuminate, we will have some small light range in here. And final light is the roof light hide number one. And I want to convert it to the self illuminate. You can see the changes a little bit in here. So I want to change the color of the uh, hidden light to some type of warm color like the uh, Bisco. So I change it to the wheat or Bisco color in here. And another time I select wheat in here. I can increase the lumens power to see the changes very simple and easy. As you can see now, we can see the changes in here. So I prefer to use some number about 80,000 candela per meter and it's completely related to your taste and your job. So I'm gonna use the uh, this place that called 
wood MDF. As you can see, this is the white wood in here. I can change the color of it to the uh, beam gray, something like that, but it's not really good. So I prefer to use some bright color like the uh, white color. And the uh, roughness is about 24% and the uh, specular is about 56%. So we have other type of materials like the gray color. When I click on it, I can change these dark MDF woods in this place about the color, texture, and other type of things. I prefer to change the color from dim gray to some type of color like the dark gray. Now it's much better. So 24% is good and the aspect word is good. In this place, we have wood cavern related to the uh, floor. I can change the intensity of the normal map to see more details on my floor. I prefer to use 170% for my parameter. And in this place we have plaster. You can see the details about the displacement of the plaster on the walls. So I prefer to increase it to the 156%. So till now you understand that you must play with the material parameters to make your renders much realistic. After materials you have to set the lighting. So materials done right now. So I'm going to click on the roof option. I want some brighter roof, so I'm going to change it to the uh, Gainsborough or some color like the uh, white smoke in here. Now the roof is much better. You can change it by the advanced mode and change it to some number about 244 and add it to other parameters. Roughness for the roof is about 58%. Now it's much better. So I'm going to click on the uh, roof light height number one. I'm going to click on the uh, color and copy this color code on my clipboard and click on the uh, halogen light roof in here and add it to my advanced color RGB setting and enter it. As you can see now we have better color harmony in this place and I'm going to copy and paste it for all lightings in here and increase the luminous power a little bit. So I'm going to close it in this place and I'm gonna click on the visual setting. We are on the high quality of the rendering. So uh, I'm gonna move a little bit in this place and select this sphere light. So when I click on the sphere light and click on the Enscape objects, I can increase the luminance intensity. Very simple and easy. With some realistic and decay number about, for example, 4600 candela. And you can see this backlight in here. So I'm going to close it in this place and the color is really good. So everything is done for me right now. And I'm going to close the uh, Enscape. So I come back to the uh, SketchUp environment in this place. And I'm going to click on the Enscape object, Spotlight, and draw some Spotlight. Very simple and quick. I want to use the uh, IES profiles. So I'm going to click on it. And I have range of the IES profiles in here. I prefer to use some IES about, for example, number 5 and click on the open. So in the luminous intensity, I'm going to change it to the uh, 6000 candela. And I'm going to click on this place to move it on the IES profile in here. Something like that. I'm going to hold it a little bit in this place to detect the uh, center point. Of this job now I'm going to take some copies in different ranges. It takes a little bit time. So I'm going to click on it and move it in this place. Another light. I can take another copy in this place. So I'm going to select this light and this light and time for the uh, taking different copies in here. So I'm going to press Ctrl on my keyboard and take some copies in this distance, this one, and another one in this place. So another copy for the middle point and it's over. Very simple and easy. I'm going to click on the camera number four, hide this personage in here, use the camera two point perspective, camera number four, all right. I'm going to start Enscaping here. It takes a little bit of time. I download assets before this tutorial. So we will see some type of error that called assets not detected in here. So I press OK because it's not important. 
I'm going to maximize the rendering a screen very simple and easy. So now I'm going to minimize this screen in here. First of all, before I play with some type of parameters like the exposure or auto contrast, I must to set and fix my lighting. For this reason, I'm going to select one of these IES profiles in here and click on the uh, Enscape object. When I increase the luminance intensity, I must be careful about my screen. As you can see, the screen changes are really important. So, some number about 34,000 candela is really good and it can be improve my job quality. So, I'm going to close it in here. Everything is done for me right now. And I'm going to click on the uh, Enscape Material Editor. This time I'm going to change the uh, light circle in here and change the color of it to the uh, clipboard. Some color like that. Ctrl V and press Enter. And for the luminance power, I can increase it as I can. Some type of very shiny result in here, about 90,000 candela per meter. And now it's good. So I come back to the Enscape environment in this place. I'm going to click on the uh, visual setting. First of all, I'm going to click on the field of view and change my field of view a little bit near to the uh, main target, about 76 degree. I have some displacement on this woods in here about the white MDF. So I'm going to click on the Enscape Material Editor, Wood MDF, and decrease the uh, intensity to the uh, zero. Easiest job is that you remove the uh, texture box from the height map. Now you have only one color in here. So now it's much better and time for the uh, rendering. But I'm going to click on the uh, Enscape Minimization. And I'm going to use this flower in some place like that, for example. I only want to see the changes what will happen in my environment. For example, something like that to fill this place in here. I can fill it a little bit lower than now. And we have another flower vase in this place. So I'm going to move it to fill my left side of the camera. So I only move it on the green axis. I just want to see the result of it. It can become a little bit to the right side. Something like that. And now it's good. So I'm going to click on the Enscape environment in here. I'm going to click on the visual setting. And for the exposure, I'm going to increase it a little bit to some number about 58. So I'm going to turn off the auto exposure. As you can see, completely we burn our render, so we can control it with reducing it to some good number, about 49%. So, for the depth of field, I'm going to turn on the depth of field right now and play with the uh, focal point. I want to focus on this type of pillow on the uh, bed, so something like that can be really good. 3.38 meter and I want to increase the depth of field about some number like the a uh, 19% so at the image bar I'm going to turn on the auto contrast to see the better result in here and I can reduce the color temperature to save my warm render but be careful to don't uh, decrease it much more than the normal time 5600 Kelvin is the best number for this and I can increase the saturation to the 102% Lens flare helps you to create some graphical renders but we don't have any type of direct lights in here so I decrease the bloom option to the R4 and lens flare to the R14 the Vignet can be completely reduced to the 8% and chromatic abbreviation is not important so, at the atmosphere, I'm going to turn off the shadow sharpness because we have very soft lights in here. And artificial light brightness, when I increase it, I can see the changes in my environment very fast and quick, about 116%. So, ambient brightness is not really useful, so I'm going to increase it to the 
and some brightness. I want to increase the some brightness a little bit. For example, 109% is really good. And in the skybox, I want to reduce the density, variety, and cyrus amount. And country is not important. So, I come back to the main bar in here. When I check the auto exposure, you can see some difficult changes in here. So, some number about 50% is good. And I can increase my rendering quality to the ultra to see more calculation of the uh, lights. Very simple and easy. So, some type of render like that will be generated for us. And in the image bar, you can increase the saturation to see more details and colorful things on your screen. 124% for the saturation. And I'm going to minimize it a little bit right now. And I want to change the uh, color of these gray things in here. So I'm going to click on the Enscape Material Editor. I select gray color. And I want to completely change it to some dark color like that. Now it's much better. In the advanced bar, I can change it to the 100, 100, and 100. So I'm going to close it. And everything is done for me right now. I only want to click on the visual setting and increase the exposure a little bit, about 56%. Now it's much better and we have lens flare. I can increase it a little bit, about 24, and close it. So I want to render it finally, so I'm going to click on the uh, screenshot in this place and save it to my downloads. And I want to call it R5, render number 5, and press save. Takes a little bit of time, and after that, you can see the big changes in your rendering skill. So, as you can see, it takes a little bit of time, and it depends on your system. I took this render with the NVIDIA GTX 4 GB 1650 version of it, and it's really good in the rendering so as you can see this is the environment it takes a little bit time after that you can see rendering will be a start for you four percent eight percent about 20 24 28 and after all of these i think it will be done for us so i wait a while a little bit to see the all changes in my environment so 80% 84 88 and it's done so i'm going to click on the uh, this pc in here home box and r5 this is the final result of this render it's really wonderful much realistic than the past only with controlling some small lights on it so I hope you enjoyed this video guys. Thanks for your watching. Thanks for your support. Please subscribe us if you like this video and goodbye.